Uh, hi guys, today I'm going to be starting um, a let's play on Pokemon Vote White, which is a Pokemon White hack. It was Vote White and Blaze Black. It's, it's a pretty cool hack. Here we go, a new version of Blaze Black and Vote White. In this version, you can catch all 400, no, all 643, 649 Pokemon. Um, it's pretty awesome because like a lot of here you go. Pokemon might have different types, abilities, stats, or movesets. So yeah, it's it's been changed a lot to make it more challenging. But I don't know. I, somebody could say it's challenging, another person could say it's easier. It just depends. Cause like a lot of the leveling curves have been changed as well. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Here we go. It's pronounced Kokoku. Kokoku. All right. Sharon and Bianca. All right. Um, it's it's a pretty cool uh, game. I've played it once before. Yeah. So the leveling curves have been changed so that when you battle a higher level Pokemon. You get more experience. Well, I'm not sure if that's a Gen 5 thing, but well, it's in this as well. And as you can probably tell, um, I've sped this up because I'm a pretty impatient person. So, yeah. There we go, it's like really fast. Um, I've used a double walking speed hack and also this um, speed message hack. I don't know if that, I don't know if the speed message hack is even working, but. Double walking one is there we go. Walking pretty fast. Alright. Um yeah, some so some of the Pokemon could have their hidden abilities as well, or the dream mode abilities. So like a Snivy with contrary would be pretty awesome, but the catch is I can't get a starter with the uh, hidden ability. So if I choose a Snivy it will just be overgrow, like I won't get the actual ability, so I'm just gonna choose Osho right now. I'm sure it's pretty awesome as well. Okay. So I'm just going to be battling these people now. Okay. So I'm playing a Nuzlocke version of the game, which means if one of my Pokemon faints, then like it's dead. Or it's dead. So I've got to either release it or keep it in a box. And I can never like get rid of it like ever again. I, mean, I can't take it out. And also, like another condition of the Nuzlocke challenge is that I have to, I can only catch the first Pokemon I see in a certain area. So like in Route 1, I can only catch one Pokemon. Well, he's doing quite a bit more damage than me. But I'm fast, I show you, so I should be able to win this, yeah. Alright, that's good. My first battle and I'm already on red. So if I had died then, then I would have lost the Nuzlocke challenge and I'm like, only a couple of minutes into the game. So yeah. And in the the reason I chose this game for the Nuzlocke challenge is because I can catch all 649 Pokemon. Um so if I go into a patch of grass, I can find some of the, like usually in Gen 5 you can only find like probably like three different Pokemon, three or four. But if I go into the grass like anywhere now I can there's probably like ten different species in there. Just so they fit all six hundred and forty nine in. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, one thing about versing this guy is he has a Snivy, but so like if I chose a Snivy it wouldn't have the Dream Mode ability, but since he chose it, he gets the Dream Mode ability, so if I use, and his Dream Mode ability is uh, Contrary, so if I use Tail Whip, oh yeah, for those of you who don't know, uh, Contrary it does the opposite of stat changing moves, for example if I use Tail Whip, Tail Whip normally lowers their defense, but if I use it on Snivy who has contrary, it will raise his defense. So if I use that I'll pretty much be dead because I won't be able to kill it. So I'm just gonna go tackle. Yeah, he can use Leo. Ooh, I seem to be faster than this Snivy. Okay wait no. It's attack is pretty bad. Even with the Leo I didn't do that much. Okay crap you got a critical now. Oh and I got a critical as well that's so good. Whew. And I almost lost another challenge like again. Oh, that sucks. Alright, I won, so that's good. And I also learned water gun. Okay. 
Alright, so I'm walking pretty fast and I'm just going to be skipping through a lot of these messages. I'm just assuming that you guys have already played this game. Or you just can't stop reading all this. I'm just going to be skipping through them as fast as I can. Because it does get pretty boring at the start of the game. It's like all the talking. It's one of the one of the crappy things about this. All right, sweet. I've got a bike right at the start of the game. Now, usually you wouldn't get the bike till later, I think. Yeah, make this fast. Um, I'll leave battle scene on for now. Usually I don't have it on, just because it makes it like even more faster. Yeah, I am pretty impatient. Alright, we'll save it. Okay, let's keep going. Now we have to go into Bianca's room. Alright, let's go to the lab now. I really like what they've done with Gen 5, like the 3D effects are pretty good. And, um,. Yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. So I'm just going to be skipping through this. Okay, nickname. Cool. I'm going to call it... What What? Because its name is Oshawa, and I was thinking, you know, What What? Yeah, alright. Because I'm good at it. Let me what you think. It's a TV show called The What Watts. Maybe you guys have seen it. No, probably not. It's on like ABC3 in Australia. T, not a K. Alright. What what? Sounds like a good name, I reckon. Alright, now that I think about it, when it evolves into the, the final form, Samurai. What, what's probably not going to be a fitting name? Uh, oh well, it's too late now. Probably could change it at Castellia City, but no, it seems. Alright. Okay, now we're going to get started. Uh, more talking, that's right. Okay, time out. Thank you. Can you please go? There we go. Okay, so they're all gonna go, and I'm gonna go as well. Route one. That's pretty lame taking one step into route one. Okay, now she's gonna teach us how to catch break. Not, not, not that I already don't know how to, but. Seems like a procedure. Oh. So just wait for her to finish catching her Pokemon. Okay, sweet. Here we go, I've got some Pokeballs, so I can pretty much start catching Pokemon right now. But the thing is, I can only catch the first Pokemon I see, so I better not kill it or something, yeah. That would suck. Okay, first Pokemon, let's see what it is. Rattata. That's the thing, with this version, with the Pokemon of like all the generations. So yeah. Hopefully I don't kill it. Okay, I didn't do it too much. Just keep doing this. Should be able to catch it now. Okay. Come on. Hey. Okay, we got it. Good, good. Call him Ratty. 
cause the rat. Okay, now before, yeah, before I see another Pokemon, I'm gonna go heal. Cause I don't want my Oshawa dying on me. Train him up. I, the other thing is, um, when I'm training my Pokemon, I'm probably not gonna be showing that in the videos, because it's just gonna be like super boring for you guys to watch. So, uh, is he using water type? Nice. Alright, so yeah, a lot of the battling will be left out. I mean, not the battling, just the training will be left out, because it just gets super boring. Um, that was stupid. Oh, it doesn't matter. Probably would have taken four shots to kill him anyway. Okay, level eight. Let me just check out. Ooh, it turned dark. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Let me just check out his stats. Gentle nature. So it raises special defense and decreases defense. Oh, it's not too bad. Good. Alright, um, I'm going to be stopping it here. I hope you guys have enjoyed the first Let's Play. It's That was probably like, one of, that would probably be the most boringest episode you guys will see because it's at the start, nothing much happens, just receiving my Pokemon. Uh, a lot of talking, and that's it. I hope you guys keep watching. See ya.